Not Dan here. In today's video, things are going to be changing a bit around here. And probability drive engaged. It's Welcome back. And now that we've got the improbability drive engaged, you never know what's going to happen. All right, so let's do a quick review of the atom. All right, so here, this is our atom. And in the nucleus, we have protons and neutrons. And in the energy levels, we have electrons. But what happens when things start to change? You know, some pretty weird things can start to happen. So let's start with the protons. So when you change the protons in an atom, what you actually end up doing is that you change the element. You get a completely new element when you change the protons. But what about the electrons? Well, when you change the electrons, you get what we call an ion. And there are actually two kinds of ions. They are the cations and anions. And as you can see, the cations are positive, whereas the anions are negative. Now there's actually a very easy way to remember which one is which. And it goes like this. The word cation has a T right in the middle of it. And that T kind of looks like a plus sign. Hey, there's your positive ion. The word anion has an N right there in the front. And N, as we all know, stands for negative. All right, so those are the ions. But what about when you change the neutrons? Well, when that happens, you get another I word, which happens to be an isotope. Now, isotopes are two atoms that are the same element, so they have the same atomic number, but they have a different number of neutrons, thus giving them a completely different mass. And there you have it. I think it's time to turn off this improbability drive. Wait a minute. This doesn't seem to be working. There's only one thing I can do now. I must make the improbable jump. All right, let's see if I can make this work. Geronimo! Whoa, whoa, ah! Ah! Catch you next time on Chemistry Talk with uh, uh, Dan! Yeah, 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 yeah.